Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on Lifestyle and Health Wednesday on Y254 News. And tonight we're going to be talking about fears in relationships. This is a topic that we've talked about here before. But today we try to sample some of the feedback that we got from uh, some of our, the people that we shared uh, these on our social media platforms. We're going to be talking about each and every fear that is based on the ones that we found to be very uh, reoccurring. And to help us talk about this topic tonight, here we have Maureen Kather. Okay, let me start with my file left. We have Helena James, who is a student at Zita College. We have Maureen Kather, who is a, a blogger. Uh, the blog is called African, her blog on mental health. We have Stanley. Carol Stanley, who is a student at the Kenyatta University. We have Samuel Kaibenyi, who is a student at the KCA University. Thank you guys for finding time to come today. And you can be part of this conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 News. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. And based on the feedbacks that you, you guys also shared, because we took it upon ourselves to ask this question on our social media platforms so that we see what really are the issues that uh, people fear, what are some of the concerns that people have, whether before getting in a relationship or while in a relationship. And to start up, let me start with you, Maureen. Why do you think people have fears? Where do these fears come from? Um, thank you very much, Patricia, for this opportunity. First and foremost, I would say that people have the fear of I have people have fear of the unknown mm -hmm. because I believe each and every relationship is different. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, but out here we have people thinking my relationship might turn out to be like my friend's relationship, and so they end up fearing what their friends experienced. I would call it fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let me bring in uh, Kaimeni. I'm very happy that today in the panel we have a gentleman, so that you also get to see to know what are the guys are scared of. Where do you think? Why do you think people have fears when it comes to getting into a relationship? Yeah, thank you very much, Patricia, for the chance. You're welcome. Yeah, I think uh, where the, the fear comes in, it's whereby when you're starting the relationship, you are uncertain of what will be happening next. Mm -hmm. So you like submit your trust to someone, mm -hmm. and perhaps if you had a previous relationship, which untroubles with faithfulness, mm -hmm. And then that incident may be a result of fear in your current relationship. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like us to talk about fears that we also have in our relationships. Not just fears that other people have, but Carol, what, what is your fear in relationships? Okay, Patricia, thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. First of all, I want to talk about three fears. Mm -hmm. The fear of abandonment, mm -hmm. the fear of being cheated on, mm -hmm. and the fear of not being good enough mm -hmm. in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Those are the three fears I would like to talk about. Okay. Personally, maybe I've experienced the fear of thinking you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Maybe sometimes you see it, Unajona, you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Helena? What... What are some of the fears that you have before you get into a relationship? Or <laughs> even while, because there are some fears that you might have even while in the relationship. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're welcome. Um, I would say that the thing I fear most is the time you loved someone, the times you, there's times everything you spent, every time you spent with that person and maybe all of a sudden it's gone. Mm -hmm. How will you explain it to your friends? How will you start it? How will you recover from the whole thing? Mm -hmm. That's the fear. Okay. So based on everything that you people have said in terms of the things that you fear in relationships, what is your fear as a, as a guy? Or what are some of the fears that young men have before they approach a lady or even as they date in that lady? Yeah, I think when everyone the majority of us, when you're entering or starting up a relationship, mm -hmm. I think the first thing you 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 feel you're like you're fearing to get its heartbreak mm -hmm. or being cheated on. Mm -hmm. Personally, also I'm, I'm and I was also afraid of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, based on the 
research that I did, I realized that there is someone who say that they are scared of forgetting about themselves. They are scared of, their fear is losing themselves in the relationship and not putting themselves first and always putting the other person first and then this comes to frustrate them later on. Maureen, how, what do you think people can do to make sure that as much that you, as you're in a relationship, you still manage to take care of yourselves, of yourself, you're going to put yourself first when you need to make certain decisions, you don't need the other person to push you to make those decisions. Um, first and foremost, when getting into a relationship, we should be, uh, we should make sure, or rather, you should make sure that you you're getting into a relationship with someone who shares the same goals with you. Mm -hmm. In that, uh, so in that case, uh, as, the, as your partner is pushing towards their goals, uh, you will also be pushing towards your goal because you share a common goal at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But if you get someone who you are two worlds apart. You'll get that. Uh, one of you might end up supporting the other so much and mm -hmm. you forget about yourself. Okay. Uh, Carol, how do you make sure that... Are you First of all, are you in a relationship? Yes, I'm in a relationship. Okay, so how do yeah. you make sure that you don't forget yourself in that relationship? Okay, I'm in a relationship and I'd like to say um, you just love yourself and love the person mm -hmm. but for girls don't look for someone whom you love look for someone who loves you mm -hmm. if you get someone who loves you then the the rest will just adjust so you're trying to say we should not <laughs> go for people we love <laughs> <laughs> no the thing is get a person who loves you more than you love him mm -hmm. uh, let the man love you mm -hmm. yeah let him die for you okay yeah uh, <laughs> so, uh, someone what's your thought on that I think uh, her, her answer is quite, quite ambiguous because mm -hmm. I may love you more than you do, but I love you for for further intentions, you mm -hmm. see. But now if I love you more than you do or you don't love me, but I love you and then you, you're in a relationship with me because I love you, mm -hmm. I think you may be lost, you see. Okay. Yeah. Maureen? Should we look for people who love us more than we love them? Is that what makes it better? Is that what makes a relationship more successful? I think first what makes a relationship more successful is finding someone who has already found themselves mm -hmm. and then they are in a journey of finding love. Mm -hmm. um, just as Carol had, has said, look for someone who loves you more. Mm -hmm. In that, even the person you're getting they love you more and you love that person more. Okay, we'll yeah. come back to now, see how do we know if the person loves us more because sometimes it's tricky. People put their best foot forward before you say yes to being their girlfriend or to being their boyfriend. But Helena, why do you think what Carol is saying is something that maybe girls should follow by making sure that they're looking for a man who loves them more than they love him? I'll perfectly support her. Okay. This because if he loves me, he'll treat me nicely. Mm -hmm. And in the process of him treating me nicely, the love will develop. Mm -hmm. But if I go for the person I love, if he does not love me, even if I did anything for him, mm -hmm. he'll, stu he'll still go for the person he loves. But then are we not being mean by only saying that? Okay, what about if men argue that we also need women who love us more than we love them? Uh, what are we going to do about that, Helena? Love is a two-way traffic. Mm -hmm. You show me love, I show you love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let us talk about how do I know someone loves me? How do I really know that this man loves me and this man is going to die for me, this man is going to be my ride or die? How do I know? What do you look up, up, up at, Maureen? Well, about that question, mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I would say for a man or a lady to love you, they must be loving themselves mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So Some people are selfish. They love themselves, but they cannot manage to love you <laughs> as much as they love themselves. They okay. must have a balance of both. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So if you look at a person and uh, in a situation, they, c they are unable to balance the love between themselves and the way they love you. Mm -hmm. Just call it quit before it gets late. Okay. Now I want us to look at at least before the show ends. I want us to address at least five fears that uh, I noticed have things that most people are afraid of. And the first one I'd like us to talk about is infidelity. We have all talked about being cheated on. So how do we deal with that fear? Because let's talk about someone coming from a previous relationship, just as someone has said, who has been cheated on before, and they are coming in 
to a new relationship, most likely maybe this other person is not going to cheat, but they are scared. How do people deal with such fears? Caro. Uh, thank you, Patricia. First of all, I would like to say, not only men, even ladies. Even, yeah, even yeah. ladies cheat. Most of us have become pathological liars. Mm -hmm. We lie every time. Mm -hmm. And when I say pathological liars, it's a way to, to a traffic. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, most of us have become liars. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like us to say, for you to know that someone loves you so much, mm -hmm. I'm a someone loves you, you have to look at some things. Mm -hmm. You call me. I don't have to call you. Mm -hmm. You call me. Mm -hmm. I don't have to text you. You text me. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you just have, you, you'll just have to know someone who loves you. Mm -hmm. And someone is in love with you. As in love is a four letter word, but a very strong thing. Okay. So you, you'll just know someone is in love with you. Mm -hmm. But first of all, there's a relationship. There's a relationship between a girlfriend and a boyfriend. And even between me and my parents, there's a relationship. Mm -hmm. So there are so many types of relationships yes. yeah so you know how to deal with it mm -hmm. each and every relationship you have to know how to deal with it okay yeah okay so samuel i'll bring you in because you talked about unfaithfulness that is the first fear that you mentioned why do you think i'll ask you as a man not saying that all men cheat but i'm asking why do you think some of the men who cheat cheat and then we'll get to the ladies to tell us why do they think some of the ladies cheat and thank you. I think uh, women, we, we, we consider ourselves like superior, strong enough. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to matters dealing with relationship and mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. some of us are weak, are weak being, I can say so. Mm -hmm. But now to deal with this, it's all matters being trustworthy enough mm -hmm. to be faithful to your, to your person. Mm -hmm. If he or she is not around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So should we forgive infidelity? Should infidelity be forgiven? Or if someone cheats, leave them and move on? What's your thought on that? That one I'll take every person's thought. What's your thought on that? Should we forgive infidelity? Mm, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. But with a, with, a, with a sensible reason. Okay. You see. Well, okay. Yeah. Carol, should we forgive infidelity? Of course I'll say no. Mm -hmm. If someone cheats on you, mm -hmm. or if someone is planning to cheat on you, mm. leave that person. Okay. Run away. Don't even leave. Run away. <laughs> okay. yeah. Marie, should you forgive infidelity? First and foremost, why is this person cheating? Why is your partner cheating? Do they love themselves? Because someone who loves themselves mm -hmm. will not cheat in the, in the first place. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, one, I, what I know is that once someone cheats, for the first time, there is going to be a second and a third time. Mm -hmm. So once you notice your partner is cheating for the first time, I mean, raise your eyebrows and walk out. Okay. Yeah. Helena, should we forgive infidelity? Not at all. Mm -hmm. With reasons, of course. Mm -hmm. If you lied to me the first time, there would be a second time. And infidelity is always planned. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you'll be able to tell me you're sorry. I can never trust you again. Mm -hmm. So if you, if infidelity is involved in our love affairs or our relationship, we are done. Okay. I think I would say you can forgive once, but don't attack me on that. <laughs> so the, what, do, what needs to be done to make sure that there is no infidelity in relationships? So that we, t we get rid of this fear of someone is scared that they're going to give their all in a relationship and then they're going to be cheated on. What do we do, Maureen? Uh, the first uh, step you should take as a victim is uh, discovering the person mm -hmm. that you want to grow in love with. Mm -hmm. um, because for, for someone to start cheating, just as Helena said, it mm -hmm. is a process. Mm -hmm. It is not just something that someone is going to wake up today and decide, I'm going to cheat on you. It is something that has been growing in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for someone to cheat, in, uh, to cheat on you, they are, I don't think they love you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The second one was helping a man grow, and then after he has grown, he leaves you. That was another issue that I got from people, from uh, various uh, ladies, and that that one came mostly from ladies. They're scared of to grow pamoja, to jijenge pamoja, and then muksha jengana, the man disappears. How do we deal with that fear? Number one, are you willing to kujengana with someone, Carol? <laughs> Love that Anisha Jengana now. You never know. Okay. So, so yes, many people 
wako afraid mm -hmm. tujengane we build houses we buy lands mm -hmm. and we leave each other mm -hmm. but i would like to say respect for you for you to be in love mm -hmm. you have to respect the person you're in love with mm -hmm. if respect is there trust me the rest will just flow mm -hmm. if i respect you mm -hmm. you shout at me mm -hmm. i won't shout back mm -hmm. i'll keep quiet and maybe later i'll come and know why you did it mm -hmm. so come on mejengana the thing you call to jengane mm -hmm. you have to respect the man and the man has to respect the lady mm -hmm. when respect is there trust me everything else is just flow okay and don't ignore red flags mm -hmm. if i start you text me i don't text back you call me i don't pick up the call after to mejengana after to mejengana okay. don't ignore red flags jua kuna shida mahali okay yeah Samuel, what is your thought on if if you found a girlfriend today and you start life together and you build each other because sometimes growing together with your partner is not even mostly on material things but it's even the person making you better. Would you leave that person if you found someone because there's always someone who's better than 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 me. There's someone better than me today. So if you found that person Will you go for that other person and forget the girlfriend, forget that partner who hired you when there was literally nothing? I think probably no, mm -hmm. because when now when you start to build each other together, mm -hmm. you become responsible for each other. Mm -hmm. So as a guy, I'll do my best to be mindfulness mm -hmm. of the feelings of that other person. Mm -hmm. I ask myself. If it happens, I had this lady, mm -hmm. what will happen to her next? Okay. Do I deserve also to be done so mm -hmm. in return? Mm -hmm. You see, out of being my deafness, I would be that much to care about her feelings and to make about a uh, step, a next move. Okay. Yeah. Helen, are you willing to start it from the ground with someone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing. I know is that trust is the mm -hmm. thing, trust is the key, and for me to love you, I'll st start by trusting you, and if at all I can trust you with my own self, my heart, I think I can trust you for the rest of the things we have. Okay, wow. Maureen kuna look now, is, are we touching on something that is, are you willing to do, to start, to kujangana with someone? First and foremost, uh -huh. Uh, this uh, this thing called to jengane. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in in case of material in material mm -hmm. matters, mm -hmm. you jenga yourself, I jenga myself. Tukutane. Tukutane katikati. Okay. <laughs> and then in in the other case, uh -huh. uh, when you have grown old together, mm -hmm. and then the lady or the guy sees someone else who's better, mm -hmm. ni kama kuacha kuako kukichomeka, mm -hmm. and then you go to your neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. Why don't you make your partner better than the one you're admiring? Okay. Wow, and that brings us to our other big issue, which was finances. People are scared of being with people who are not financially stable. And what rage should we really put a man as financially stable when we are committing to them? Carol. Please pardon your question, kindly. We're talking about finances. Mm -hmm. At what really is a stable, what, what stability? should you look out to when you when you want to date someone in terms of now dealing with the issue of finances in relationships yeah personally mm -hmm. i'm a first of all nowadays girls are falling in love with money mm -hmm. you don't look for a person you love mm -hmm. you want a person who has money mm -hmm. mm. Unataka upate jenga. Mm -hmm. so i just like to tell you work hard mm -hmm. get what you have let the man work hard get what he wants in life alafu you can mpatane you put everything together alafu and everything will go on so what i'm getting here is that uh -huh. let him work by himself let me build <laughs> myself to kutane we're not we're not doing this all together down here no it is build yourself from there mm. build yourself from there let us now meet at point a and move on with life first of all same kuna upatana high school mm -hmm. some of us you meet your partner in campus sendio so you have to first of all help that person with ideas mm -hmm. maybe i'm in a relationship with someone with let's say ex mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I come, I tell you X, I want to start a business. A business. Mm -hmm. Support me. If X comes and tells me, Carol, I want to buy a land, mm -hmm. I have this amount, mm -hmm. I don't have this amount. If I'm working, who am I not to support that person? Okay. So the thing is, support each other, but kill them to agitafuti. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How now do we deal? With how do we overcome fears? Maureen, how do we overcome all these fears that you, the fears that you've talked about? How do we make sure that these are not things that hit us from finding good people, from falling in love or being in relationships with people who are going to make us better than we are? Um, I would say it's better to grow in love than, mm -hmm. than to fall in love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because when you grow in love, you will all get yourselves at the same level. You're both looking for love and you're going to help this other person become the person that you like them to be and mm -hmm. they'll be helping you become the person they would like to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Samuel, how do we now overcome all these fears that have been raised? I think <coughs> the, the first uh, step to take to once overcoming this fear, uh, first we need to be trustworthy mm -hmm. to each other. You don't need to be around me for me to be tr trustworthy to you or be faithfulness to you, faithful mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. So when I, I observe f trustworthy and faithfulness in absence of you, mm -hmm. and you, you get that sense, I am, I think everything will be dope. Okay. Yeah. So there is a fear of feeling like being taken for granted and t wasting your time. Someone said dating someone for a very long time and then it does not work out. You, have, you date someone for like eight years and you're thinking, this is my Mr. Right, this is the person I'm going to walk down the aisle with, and then boom, it doesn't work out. How do people, should we, ha should we have a limit on how long you should date someone, maybe before you make things official? Helena. Okay. On that, I would say, you can't say about time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they love you for some time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll fake it. Mm -hmm. you don't is living a lion who is real. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is that maybe follow your heart and carry your dreams. Okay. Thank you, Maureen. Dating for very long periods of times and then you realize your time has been wasted. You've committed yourself to this relationship. You've done it maybe for like eight years, ten years, and then boom, you've broken up. There's nothing. You have now to go ground zero. Kwanza kujua mtu mungine. And maybe you're hitting a very bad time. Age also does not wait. So according to me, Kwanza what when I date for 10 years. When did you start dating in high school? Okay. Uh, second of all, um, when you're getting into a relationship, you mm -hmm. must be having goals. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for me, if you're in a relationship for five years and it's yielding nothing, you, you, uh, the both of you are very much stable. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's hindering you from getting married? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and, and again, there must be some red flags. Mm -hmm. Unless uh, this person who has been in this relationship for 10 years has been in ignoring the, uh, the red flags, mm -hmm. that's the problem. So when, once you notice some um, things are not going right, um, ask questions. Because if you don't ask questions at the end of the road, you are the one who will come back and start regretting. Okay. Carol, how long are you willing to date someone? Are you willing to date someone for 10 years before they make it official? <laughs> Time is running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Time is running. So I can't just date you for 10 years. Mm -hmm. First of all, if I'm dating you, lazima tukwena, what do you want in life? After this, yeah, what are we going to achieve? Mm -hmm. Ama what's our plan after this? Do we have babies? Do we go on and have a wedding? You get me. Mm -hmm. So, for m if you are in a relationship, make sure you know what has brought you there. Have, like she has said, you should have goals in a relationship. We say maybe in the next three years, we are dating for two years, then we get married. Mm -hmm. don't, j don't just go into a relationship. Eight years have passed, nine, year nine years have passed, you are still there. You don't know what next. No, mm -hmm. stay woke. Stay woke. Okay. Yeah. So, Samuel, this is a notion that guys always know when, if she's a wifey, like guys have this feeling that they are sure this one is a good one, this one can be wiped, and this one is going to be a good one. Is that really true? Maybe you can share a secret with us today. I think, I think it all depends with their perception. Because mm -hmm. what I perceive uh, about someone. Mm -hmm. It's not the same likes 
the, the other person. The guy be perceives mm -hmm. about his person mm -hmm. or another girl, you mm -hmm. see. So it all depends with your perception to a certain lady mm -hmm. or your lady. Okay. Yeah. As you wind up, Maureen, what's, what do you think defines a good relationship, a healthy relationship, despite of all the fears that we've talked about tonight? A healthy relationship, I would say, it's defined by uh, both of you discovering yourselves, mm -hmm. knowing your goals in that relationship, mm -hmm. and uh, also helping each other become better. Okay. Yes, and uh, finally, grow in love. Mm -hmm. I would say, grow in love, don't fall in love. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, guys, for finding the time to come and join us tonight. You've heard from Maureen, you've heard from every person here. Grow in love, do not fall in love. Look for the person who loves you more, not the one that you love. I don't know how that is going to work, but you try it out. If it works for you, well and good. Uh, anyway, that is all we have for you tonight on Y254 News Updates. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.